Okay, got it? Oh, yeah. All Let's right, more. Um, here. I don't think so. Let me take one more quick little peek there, all right? No. No, that ought to do it. Here we go. Alicia? Oh. Can you sit down a minute? Don't we have to leave for the airport? No, this won't take long. Um, I'm, I'm hardly one to be giving advice on a relationship. But if you love Frisco, hold on to him. There's nothing more important than what you two have together. Don't lose him. I'll try not to. Whatever you do, never lie to him. Because that's the one thing that can't be forgiven. Um, love the man. Tell him the truth. And with a little bit of luck, he'll be yours forever. Well, I do love Frisco. And I know he loves me too, and nothing's going to change that. Oh, I believe you. And I couldn't be happier for the both of you. You take care of him now. I'm going to miss you. No, oh, I'm going to miss you too. You're going to miss more than that unless you hurry up. <laughs> well, I'm not budging until I get my goodbye hug. The sacrifices I make for women. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Things aren't going to be the same without you around here, lady. You know that? You're sort of taking a piece of us with you, you know. Well... I'm leaving a piece of myself here, too. Well, we'll watch out for that piece until you come back for it, okay? Just don't take so long. Okay. Let's go, troops. I'm late for an appointment. All right, so no problem. You have a visitor. Oh? I didn't like leaving her alone. I didn't know what to do with her. Uh, I'm glad you're home. Hello. Hi. Hi, yourself. Who are you? My name's Robin. 32 for New York City is now ready for boarding. Please have your boarding passes ready at the gate. Well, that's my flight. Yep. We've said our goodbyes now, so just keep in touch, okay? All right. All right. Yeah, um, I don't usually write, but I'll put a P.S. on her letter, okay? Okay, I'll look for it. The one thing you could do for me. For anything, Anna. Just uh, stay in touch with her. We will. Be joining Holiday for long, aren't you? I know, but you were kind of miss Sean and everything. You know, they were best friends. So. Well, we'll keep tabs on him. Yeah, promise. Okay. Could be the only man in the whole world right now. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Bye-bye. Look after yourself. Here's your bag. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. But look, I'd like you to get around here right away. Huh? No. No, I'm... I'm not feeling lonely. Not at this moment, anyway. Yeah. Well, I don't know what it's all about. I have the strangest feeling, though. Something's about to come down on me. Good sandwich. Ah, Hello. Alicia Fisker, come in. We just took Hi, in to the airport. Hello. Good. Uh, I appreciated that. Um, actually, I'm glad you stopped by. Well, if you're discussing, please. Yeah, well, well, we are, but uh, don't worry about it. Felicia, what do you like with kids? Gray. Gray? Where'd mm -hmm. you learn how to handle kids? Well, the hostage and a lot of guests have kids. Uh-huh. Why are we talking about kids? I think I know why. Good, I see you found the kitchen towel. It was right where you told me. Yeah, um, <clears throat> peanut butter and jelly sandwich kind of squirted a little, you know? No, <laughs> yeah. who are you? My name is Ronald Bill now you know as much about Robin as I do. What's he talking about, Bert? I got here just ahead of you. 
So come on, Robert. Start from the beginning. Yeah. Is this your doll? Right. Yeah. Oh, she does. My, uh... Name? My cleaning lady said that I had a, a guest waiting for me. Meet my guest. Hmm. Now, I don't know who she is or how she got here. And I decided not to question her until after she'd eaten. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Well. Yeah. Holly! Hey, babe, you're in London? Good. Hey, talk to me, darling. Well, uh-huh. Now that Mrs. Mm -hmm. Gordon's mm -hmm. talking to me, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that short for? What do you mean? Well, sometimes people and dolls have longer names, so they're short. I... Yep, Cindy. What's your name? Is that short for something? No. Well, this is Frisco. Do you want to be friends? Oh, I'd love it. Yeah, so would I. Yeah, me too. Uh, why don't you just call me, uh, Uncle Bert? Well, when do you and Nanny catch your flight to Australia? Yeah. You're at the airport now? Yeah. Okay. Now look, now look, sweetheart. When you uh, when you get to Sydney, you call me because I love you and I need to know little things like that. All right? All right, darling. Good flight. Bye. Oh, well. Uh, did you tell Holly about your new guest? I think Holly's had enough of mysteries for a while. Anyway, I happen to think we can wrap this one up in short order. So. Your name's Robin Saltini. Oh? Well? Where are you from, Ducks? Hmm? New York City. I live with my grand. Oh, I have a nice grandmother, too. Well, all right. Now, um, where, where do you live in New York City? In a big building. What's the address? I don't know. We just moved there. Well, what's the address of the other building? I forgot. You've done better, Robin. Yeah. It was near a big park. A big park, huh? Sounds like Central Park. Yeah. But I just came from summer camp. Ah, mm -hmm. summer camp, more better. All right. What was the name of the camp, love? It's hard. What's hard? The name. Of the camp? Does it have a funny name? A lot of camps have funny Indian names. It had a funny name. Hmm? And I don't know it. It started out Wah. Wah. What? Wah and some other names. Mm. And I don't remember them. All right, all right. Let's let the camp go for a minute. How old are you? Six. Very young, Robert. How did you get here, Robin? Well, my grandma sprained her ankle, and she could have picked me up today. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Uh. Well, uh, who picked you up and brought you here? A nice man in a big black car. Right, now we're getting to it. All right. I'm tweeting until my grandmother comes to get me. What was the name of the nice man? I don't know. He was a stranger? Somebody that you don't know. I didn't know him, but it was okay. Oh. Get me sweet. Oh, I don't think you're going to get any more answers, Robert. I haven't gotten any so far. Honey, can you tell me about your grandmother? I love my grandmother. She calls me Taramia. Taramia? That's Italian. Mm -hmm. My grandma is. Oh, yeah. Soltini fits. Do you have any brothers and sisters? No, but grandma and I have a friend. Oh, right, okay. We're getting close. What's her name? I call her love, and she calls me love. That's it? She's pretty, and she has pretty hair like a boy. Really? Huh? Robert? Yes. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't understand, and what I don't understand bothers me. Clothes I made in the kitchen. With little girl. Felicia took her upstairs for a nap. Oh. Now, little visitors had quite a day. <sighs> She's a cute kid, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She sure is. All right, what'd you find out? Nothing new. I talked to the cleaning woman, and she said the little girl just appeared outside the door and said she was here meeting her grandmother, so the cleaning woman let her in the house. What about New York? Check New York <clears throat> telephone. No Saltini's listed in any of the five boroughs. Robin said that she'd just moved. Now... We checked all the new listings and even unlisted numbers. Still nothing. I don't get it. 
Robert, do you think there's a possibility that this little girl is just making up a story? I think she's telling the truth. So do I. I mean, you know, she's such an open kid, if you can see what I mean. No, I'm not sure I do. Well, if she... If she knows something, she tells us. If she doesn't know anything, she says, I don't know, and she's not upset about it at all. You mean she really thinks she's going to be picked up by her grandmother here? Right. Which leaves us with two possibilities. All right, what are those? One, that a genuine mistake was made. I doubt that. Okay, what's the other one, then? That someone tried to kidnap Robin and panic for some reason. Mm-hmm. And just dumped her here on the police commissioner's doorstep? She just assumes that she's in good hands. Well, she is, that's for sure. Thing is, she's so... so sweet and trusting, and that's what... what bothers me. But, Bert... Mm-hmm, right. Call, uh, New York PD. Uh, check on any missing children, will you? I'll do it right now. Uh, I've got to think this one out. Robert, what would be the point of dropping her off here? Believe me, there is one. I just haven't found it yet. She fell asleep. Oh. Good. Robert and I talked a little bit before she fell asleep. She doesn't know anything about her mother. Her grandmother means everything to her. Mm -hmm. That poor woman must be frantic for school. 